relinquish all control to the one who makes me whole, Jesus, the Savior of my. that will astound you, that will amaze you. Well, that, that doesn't tell anything. That's just like, whatever. If you had to be here, listen, if you weren't here, there's no way you can even replicate it. The power of God hit here and touched people, some for the very first time. Come here, bro, come here. Come, yeah. Nobody else understand Afrikaans. Come here. Come here. I want, I want the testimonies. Come up here. They got to go get me one out of Spanish church. I was looking for her. She's not here. Come here. Come. What happened to you? <laughs> um... I was sitting there. Which remember, it's always important where you're sitting when the Lord talks with you. Whew, uh, um, I didn't, I was like. <laughs> I said, no way, this is not happening. And then I was, I don't even know what to talk about right now. Basically, that's what happened to him. So, it's hard to describe <laughs> when God touches you. <laughs> Amen. So, what, what happened to you? <laughs> so, <laughs> Where were you sitting? <laughs> I was sitting over there, and um, <laughs> and I closed my eyes, and and then the pastor, the pastor called me out. And he, he said. He said, where, where are you from? And I said, I, I said, I said, I said, Boston and <laughs> and he said <laughs> My God
Now, listen. This service, this service today, because if I, if I could, listen, if I could, I would run the whole of this next week. I'm not able to. I'm in six different cities. But let me tell you this. This service will be in three parts. Tonight will be part two. My wife will be ministering tonight. And part three will be next Sunday morning. So I'm just letting it up. That's all I'm going to tell you. Now, where is, bring him back. Where is he? Where, where did he run to? Did he leave for Boston? <laughs> bring him back. Yeah, bring him back. Now, if you're visiting with us, what he's trying to tell you is the fire of God came on. We just had four weeks of fire. We started with the camp meeting. We had the youth week. We had the kids week. And then the River University. Come bring him up over here. Bring, 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 turn him around, turn him around. So what he's trying to tell you is the fire of God came on him. And God's going to use him. You see. Jesus. Now, c c come over here. What, what, what happened to you? <laughs> Where were you sitting? Over there. Yeah. I was, oh, oh. Tell them where you're from. <laughs> Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Huh? <laughs> yeah. He's from Bethlehem. Pennsylvania. <laughs> Not many people say, can say they're from Bethlehem. And, and so um, you were just sitting there and what happened? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I was, I was sitting, 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 and the fire of God come on I was you. sitting there. The power oh, of God come on fire, fire, huh? fire of God. Yeah. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> the joy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's real, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, what? Somebody said, "Why you do that?" You don't gonna get much more out of him out of that. I mean, that's why the scripture says it's a joy unspeakable and full of glory, and the half has never yet been told, because you can't tell. Now you were taking pictures. She was on the camera. Come, come, bring her over here. She was taking pictures. And uh, what happened to you? She was taking pictures. Yeah, in the building. She photography for the ministry. Um. <laughs> Tell the people. Tell them what happened. First time was right there, and the second time was right there. And 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 as you were looking through the lens, power got come on you. What what happened? Um. It was kind of like I got struck by lightning, to be honest. It was like you got struck by lightning. Yeah, when I looked at you. <laughs> and then you pulled me over with the camera. And everything just went white. <laughs> and you were talking about getting caught up. And I got caught up. <laughs> and it was so good. <laughs> and, um, it's real, isn't it? Yeah. What do you say to somebody who says, well, maybe you're putting this on? What do you say to them? <laughs> they have to experience it. Mm -hmm. So better, better felt than telt. Mm -hmm. Jesus. That's it. Now, this lady was touched. Uh, she's from Brooklyn. She's Spanish. 
And uh, she was touched the other night uh, and uh, just a great joy and then touched again and then Friday night. But here's the thing, with her, when she touched, she couldn't speak, which, you know, that's a big miracle when a lady can't speak. That's a sign and a wonder. And she wasn't able to speak. So on Friday night, I saw that there were pockets of resistance, just people just sitting there. So I moved her around like an evangelist and just stuck her in the seat for about an hour and a half. I moved her around wherever I needed to and everywhere she sat. People all around her got hit. So, what's happened? What, what's happening? I <laughs> Did you did you try everything for the depression? Did, have you tried everything? I tried. Every, I mean, I was a whole year in praying and fasting. The PTSD wouldn't break. The trauma wouldn't break until that second day, and then the next day, and then the next day, and this morning, and I still can't get out of it. Tú no sabes, mira, yo te digo. Si a mí me hubieran dicho que no viniera, yo creo que todavía me hubiera... Mira, I was screaming for my victory para no estar en esa lágrima nunca más. Pero yo le dije al padre, ya no aguanto esta lágrima, esto es un demonio, quítamelo. Y mira, ese día yo vine aquí without faith that day. I was like, I give up. Me quiero matar, me quiero ir. No aguanto este estado, no soporto a nadie. Y mira, and that's all I have now is love and the desire to live. And now, and now you're gonna live like this. So, would you recommend this to everybody oh sitting God, here? Yes, al mundo entero. I'll think that mundo from here to wherever you go. I'm dead so. Mira. Hasta el final de la tierra, como Dios dice, mira, si tú estás en el infierno, ahí Dios te va a ver. And I was in that hell every day from the time I was 16 until that day. I'm telling you, and Dios es bueno, Dios es fiel. Porque mira, rompió eso. And it was so bad. Que aún mi hija de 13 años lo tenía. And I was like, Lord, yo no quiero que mi hija se me muera en ese infierno porque yo lo conozco bien. Y ahora, la rubia mía. It's different, and the relationship is restored. Now, when you get back over to the Spanish side, you need to go tell them all that. I did. You already told them. Bueno, yo sabe. You told them now. Yo no sé, no, ahora no. Yo estaba on the floor for like, I don't know how long, desde que entré. Gee. <laughs> Run you! Run, 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 run! So proco paro danga. Sepre bad red ne stepa. Somebody said, oh, so you just want everybody like this. Yeah, that's why it's called the river. And they all look like they're under the water. You can choose to be ankle deep. You can choose to be knee deep. You can choose to be waist deep, or you can be over your head. The choice is yours.
There's people say, you cannot have this on a Sunday morning. You can't have this in church. Uh, excuse me. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is still being poured out in the earth. And today, he will touch you. Some of you are trying to be so dignified. It's about cheese. It's all about cheese. It's his power. It's his anointing. Now, I want, I want you to take your Bibles this morning, and I'm going to go straight to the message. We'll receive the offering later. Amen. I want you to take the Bibles and go with me to 2 Kings chapter 3. And you'll understand when I get through this message, you understand what this is all about. If you're here with any questions that you might have or you're watching by way of television and you're not too sure about what you're seeing, that's fine. It's in the Bible. you need one of the bulletins for the notes of the sermon, you can raise your hand there. Also. One more. Come. Come. What happened? So two years ago, I uh, had an injury on my foot and my ankle, and so it was very painful for me to stand up all the time in heels, which is what I do. And um, <laughs> today, when... Um, during the praise and worship, I sensed the healing presence of Jesus come in the room and you begin to call things out and you said people's feet and ankle bones were receiving strength. What happened? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, so much. We've been immersing ourselves in this for the last three, four weeks. And uh, I laid in bed last night and I told my wife before we went to sleep. I said, I just, as, as good as it's been and I've been pressing into it, I said, I just feel like there's still something I can't <laughs> What happened? I said, I need a breakthrough. I just felt like something, something off, something just not right. <sighs> what happened? <laughs> oh, I cried out to the Lord. I said, God, I need a breakthrough. Please just break whatever this is off of me. And? I've been on antidepressant meds for the last seven years. <laughs> you suffer from depression? Yeah, for what, seven years? Because of things I went through with heart surgery seven years ago. And, uh, <laughs> and the doctor 
doctor's answer is always here. Take this pill or take this pill. Or take this. <laughs> I said, Jesus, I don't need any of that. I just need you. I just need more of you. I just need you, Lord. I just need you. And I know that I know that I know that that broke off of me today. And I'm free. <laughs> well, what, what, what was wrong? All right, well, <laughs> it's actually, actually two things. For about, <laughs> for about three weeks, I've been dealing with some female issues. And I've been praying and praying and praying at home and, and praying in tongues and praying and... And it just wouldn't leave me. And then tonight, it, th this morning, th this morning, <laughs> tonight, it's all four weeks of one 24-hour day. I don't even know where I am anymore. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Trust me, I don't even know what month it is. I don't even know where I'm going tonight. Like, where am I now? <laughs> and it just—you said I. You, you you spoke it. You said I I I see women with some female issues, and it's being being healed. And at that moment, it was like, bam! And it was I thought, wait a minute, what was that? Wait a minute, that's no pain anymore. It's gone. <laughs> it's just gone. It's gone. 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 And then I've been I've been praying for four weeks. I've been saying, God. There are people that I need to forgive, and I've taught lessons on forgiveness. God has given me messages on forgiveness, and I've taught them and taught them and taught them. And I said, God, why won't this sink in with me? Why won't this stay with me? I teach it, and I believe it, and then, and then something comes back and hits me, and I feel that all over again. I said, I want to be delivered from this. Help me. Help me have this forgiveness. I know how it's supposed to work. Why isn't it working? And 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 I'm I just for four weeks this has been the breakthrough through that I've been praying for. And this morning it was physical, Pastor. I don't know if you can picture this. Someone lighting a fuse and you see the fuse goes the flame goes like that. I physically felt that in my heart. It was almost painful. It was going, and it was like the like like roots on a plant being ignited and burnt away. And mm. I just so. <sighs> Let me tell you, this lady is a constitutional attorney. She's a constitutional attorney. They military. She's a Russian linguist. And her husband obviously got touched too. Come here, brother. What, what will the Lord do for you? Uh, about four days ago, just this pain right at, at my spine, right in directly in between my shoulder blades. It was like an ice pick. Just suddenly one morning, just boom, just like fire in the back of in, in my back. And so for four days, it's been constant. I woke up with it this morning, and I haven't been able to touch my chin to my chest and I, I, I wasn't able I wasn't able to really bend up top just like the top, upper part of my back was just stiff and I could bend here and then it was just stiff four days straight and just I, you said put your hand where it was and I touched that spot and and as you were speaking it was it was like a warmth just the sudden warmth came there and then I felt like it was like a web, like my, all the muscles just, just relaxed, just all across my back. They just went completely relaxed. And, and I, I said, wow, I feel that. And I leaned my head down and I could touch my chest and I felt nothing, just totally gone. Just, I mean, it feels totally like, like normal. Amen. Praise Wonderful. the Lord. Just, Wonderful. Boom, just like that. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Wonderful. And it's real. Yeah. It's real. You, you, you Baptist. It's real. Yeah. It, it's me. It's me. It's real. 
I know you're going to be watching. It's real. It's Mr. Hall, and it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. You sit there in your cave of depression and brag on the devil and talk about how much he beat you, how much he stole from you. Hey, it's what you need is Jesus. What you need is the fire of God. It's real. It's real. It's real. Hallelujah. does good for a Baptist, let me tell you. Walking and leaping and praising God. Walking and leaping and praising God. Walking and leaping. So, okay, so listen to me now. So, don't let the flesh pull you back from jumping into the river, jumping into what God has for your life. I know there's a lot of noise, we understand that, but this is not a funeral home, neither is this a uh, museum. And we have people here, many different tribes and tongues, is, is that the cameraman? Somebody get back there. Is that the cameraman there? Has he got headphones on? Oh my God, he just lost the headphone. Bring him here. Bring, bring the cameraman. He was on the camera. Bring, bring, bring him here. Ushers, quickly move. He was on the camera. I saw him just shaking. Wow. Whoa. 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 From this day, you'll never be the same. But the hand of God comes on you. And God's going to use you in a mighty way to touch the lives of many. And from this day, Man, I, I watched the cameraman just begin to wobble. Wow. Okay, listen. So don't let the flesh pull you back. Just say, Lord, whatever you want to do with me, touch me, change me. I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be religious. I want to have a relationship with you. I want to know you personally. You've got family members that are lost. God's going to use you to bring in your family members. They're going to get saved. All of your family are going to get saved. And God's going to use you. I'll carry on next Sunday. Praise Tonight. God bless you. Okay, give me a microphone. Give me a microphone. Listen to this. Tell everybody what. Today was the best day of my life. Um, I was a drug addict for 20 years. Couldn't beat it. I mean, talk about rehab, institutions, psych wards. And I came here. Jesus touched me. Well, what, do you feel, what, do you, what do you feel and, happened? I mean, my whole body, like my whole mind, everything's just like reset. It's like fresh. It's like news. 
the best feeling I've ever felt. It's, it's amazing because you cannot describe the way it feels when, when you're touched. Like you, because you're watching on TV, and, I, and I've been there, and I was like, uh, what, do those people really get knocked down? Are they just, like, courtesy falling? Is the, no, when you get touched, it is amazing. It's better than any high, any desire, any lust. All that just goes. This feeling is amazing, and God is real. Jesus is real, and he will touch you if you ask him to. If you ask him to encounter you like I did, you will be touched and you will be saved and God can change your life because he changed mine. So, so what do you do? What do you mean? What do you do for a living? What, what's your business? Um, I'm, I'm here now, but I did construction. My dad had a construction company mm -hmm. back home in Maryland mm -hmm. and I moved down here to be in ministry. Mm -hmm. Pastor Tony invited me. Yeah, well, God's going to use you. I mean, uh, you, you, you know him well. Come here. God's going to use him for ministry. So tell me about him. Yeah, so he's actually one of my sister's friends. And uh, three weeks ago, uh, I worked with him a long time ago over the phone, and we just dis he just disappeared. And then he called me, my wife, or my sister called me. She said, you need to get a hold of Danny. I never met Danny before in my life. She said, you need to get a hold of him. He's going to commit suicide. So immediately I called him, and I said, Danny, what's going on? Come down to the river. Uh, we'll put you up in a spot. Whatever you need, we love you. And uh, my sister, literally, they, they worked something out. He got in a plane. He came down here immediately. And his life has, this man is completely different. He was shoot, listen, three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, he was on heroin, drugs, you name it. And now this guy, this man has changed, literally, by the hand of God, the hand of the Lord, right here. Paya! 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 So we will gladly take the criticism Amen. for that, for what the people out would say, because we would rather see the people set free. If we back off the supernatural, are you with me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if I say, well, I want to be accepted, we've already been rejected. So what are we trying to be accepted? With who? We're already accepted with the Lord. This is not our work, this is his work. This is not our purpose or plan. This is his purpose. For your own life, for your own life. So maybe it's something that's outward everyone could see, but the Lord says, come here. I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to give you another chance. A new beginning, a fresh start. Maybe it's a storm that came against your life, a sudden divorce, a bankruptcy, the loss of a loved one, a sudden illness, the betrayal of a close friend, the loss of a job. Something happened that rocked your world. It rocked your world. But today you say, I'm coming back. Today I want to fall in love with Jesus all over again. And then lastly, you're sitting in this place right now. But you're not sure of your salvation. The devil's always lying to you, telling you that you're not saved. But today you say, I want to make sure. I want to know that I know that I know that I know I'm a child of God. If this is you, right where you are, if you fit into any one of these categories, I want to pray with you and for you. Right where you are, quickly, put your hand up and say, pray for me right now. All across the building. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Hands are going up all across the room. Quickly, quickly. Raise them up high. 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 I want every person to look at me right now. If you did not raise your hand, but you want to be included in the prayer, I'm going to pray right now for these invitations. Quickly, put your hand up and say, include me. Anybody else? Anybody else? Thank you. God bless you. That's fine. She can raise her hand. I was five when I came down. That's all right. My grandson of four came forward last Sunday. Listen, don't stop anybody. Just leave them. I want everybody that, I want you to look at me right now. 
Every person that raise your hand, quickly stand to your feet, quickly stand. Every person that raise your hand all across the room, stand, 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 stand. Every person raise your hand, stand, 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 stand. Stand, stand, all across the room. I'm gonna ask you to come and just come stand here. Come, we're gonna pray together. Come, stand right here, come. Just step forward, come right here. Come, 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 baby, come stand here. From all across the building, people that you saw them raise hand right next to them, bring them. Come, stand up. Today is your day. Today is your day of freedom. Today is your day of liberty. Today is your day of joy. Today is your day of peace. Today is your day of restoration. He calls you. He calls you now. There's others that God is speaking to right now. There's others that the Lord is speaking to you right now. Come. There's others the Lord is speaking to right now. There's others the Lord is speaking to right now. There's others sitting here right now. God is speaking to you quickly. Quickly get up from where you are. Come. Quickly. Come now. He's calling you. Come. Come now. Come. He's calling you. You might never have another opportunity. Today he calls you. Come, he's calling. Come. There's others. The Lord is calling right now. Get up from where you are. You can feel your heart pounding away right now. God is speaking to you. He said, my spirit will not always strive with man. Come. He calls you. 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 He says, come. Come down and all the house. Come down and all the house into the ark. Today is the day of freedom. Today is the day of liberty. Today, not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next month. Now. Today. He calls you. Come. 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 Quickly. 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 He calls you. Come on, get up from where you are. Make your way down the aisle. Come on, God is speaking to you right now. Come, He calls you. 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 Come on. 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 He calls you. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's calling you. Come on. He's calling you. Come on, he's calling you. Come on, he's calling you. Come on, he's calling you. Today, come, 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 come. Come, come. come on. Thank you, Jesus. No turning back. I want you to look at me right now. Everybody. Standing here, three groups of people. Number one, those that have never given their life to the Lord. Number two, those that are coming back to the Lord. Now, do you know how many people I meet? Even pastors. They tell me, they said, you know, I'm not in the place I should be. This is why these calls are important. Somebody said, well, what will other people think? Tell them to be quiet. It's you and Jesus. And today, he will come and he will touch you and take out the stony heart and put in a heart of flesh. And today there will be restoration for you because he loves you. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to raise your right hand to heaven that's where your help comes from. And pray this together with me. Believe it in your heart and say it with your mouth. Say, Father, I come to you in the precious name of your son, Jesus. Lord, you said in your word, if I confess with my mouth, Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. And I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead. 
I will be saved. So Father, right now, I confess Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart right now. Take out the stony hearts. Put in a heart of flesh. Wash me. Cleanse me. Change me. Fill me. Use me. Let me never be the same again. I turn my back on the world. I turn my back on sin. And I follow you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for shedding your blood for me. Thank you that on the third day you rose for me. And thank you that you're coming back again for me. From this day on, I'll never be the same again. I confess Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. He is my Lord and my Savior. And right now, by faith in the finished work of the cross and by the shed blood of Jesus, I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving me now. Now lift both hands and just thank him right now. Now let me pray over you. Let me pray over you. Father, I pray that you would seal them now by your blood and by your spirit. That on that day, not one would be missing. Raise them up to be mighty men and women of God and use them to impact this generation for the remainder of their days that you would use them. And we pray this even now in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the power of God just coming on you right now. That's the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's the fire of God right now. Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost come right on it right now. The fire of God. Let that go right through you. 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 More. Filled. Filled to overflowing. Just step back. Touch. Father, go where the knife of man cannot go and do work. Lift every heavy burden. Even now. That's the Lord touching you. That's the Lord touching you. That's the Lord touching you, dear lady. It's God touching you right now. That's the Lord touching you. You're going to be okay. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. That's the power of God on you, sir. This brother back here. That's the power brother back here. That's the power of God on you. That's the power of God on you right now. Fire from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Just close your eyes. He's wrapping his arms around you right now. That's his love. That's his mercy. That's his grace. That's his love. That's his mercy. That's his grace. Now, how many of you came on the buses today? Who came on the buses today? Okay. I need you to talk to the bus captains, okay? And bus captain, I need everyone talking to them. Who came in here on your own steam? Okay. Before you leave here, we have a gift for you, okay? So you come by the front table, the information desk. We're going to give you some information, okay? So I don't want you to miss out. If I gave you a scholarship to Bible school, who would like that? If you got a scholarship to the Bible school, the River School of Worship. Okay, so you need to go, when you leave here, you need to go back in the lobby. Not now, because the service is not over. We're going to have communion together. You know what communion is? The table of the Lord. We're going to have table of the Lord together, because we're family now. Uh-huh. We're family now. So, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to ask you to go back to your seats. If you go back to your seats right now, please. Everybody, go back to your seats. And you're fine. You're fine. You're on the operating table. Just stay right there. You're on the operating table. So the ones that are on the floor, just leave them. 